Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's play Open XCOM Area 51. When we last left off, we have had uh, yet another council mission, but we are slowly getting better at those, so I wouldn't mind uh, another one. They are pretty profitable as well. Okay, and we got uh, some pretty nice boost in the score. We have 1000, so unless something really terrible happens in the next uh, four or five days in the month of February, we should be okay. So let's uh, have a look what we did last week or during the last week. We have sold everything that is to be sold. We are waiting for more soldiers to arrive. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five people coming in uh, a few days, we'll rename them once they arrive. Stores are almost full, but don't worry, we'll be cleaning them up uh, periodically. And people working in research labs and manufacturing going on as well now. We need a few more motion scanners. Do not sell, that's the mistake I did last time, I think. Because we have only a couple. Okay. So 1.3 million is a buffer I would like to have probably so that I can hire more people once the construction works are done. So let's just uh, finish doing those and I think we need some AA ammo. Hmm, it's a good question. Or maybe we need just Gauss ammo. I'm not so sure. Let's just do motion trackers. We don't need combat armor yes, yet or ever. So continue working on those. All right, tank is uh, with us if we need it. Personal armor research is finished. Okay, so 50 frontal armor is not too shabby. Finally, something useful. Using the newly discovered alien alloys, this new armor gives our men a fighting chance against the alien threat. Perfect. Now we can do or research uh, alloy sword, alloy shotgun, alloy HWPs. Who just uh, when we bought our first HWP, they give us better ones. Well, all right. I don't need alloy shotgun. I don't need alloy sword. To be honest, I don't need alloy HWP. So <laughs> let's look at something else. Like. Uh, Maybe I should mark these things. So corpses, we really do not need uh, that much or soldiers or corpses like this. So um, from all this, I would say Gauss pistol clip, heavy Gauss, Stormhawk missiles. Maybe we'll need the missiles soon. Armor tech, as we have seen, goes to personal armor, so we do not need to do that. Rogue scientist can tell us quite a few things. Laser weapons, ooh, would be nice. Stormhawk missile, so let's do Stormhawk missile probably, so that he can't tell us about that. <laughs> bit cheaty, I know. Okay, we can manufacture personal armor now, which we totally should. It requires four alloys, so we will need to manufacture the alloys as well. So let's do like uh, those four actually, right now. And after that, we shall start manufacturing the alloys. So that's what you for components, alien alloys. Cost per unit 3000 gives us one alloy. Yeah, I think we'll need that. Start working on it as well. Okay, three days for some personal armor. Sounds like a good deal. General stores are ready. That's all right. Four more people have arrived. I think we have one more person in about a day. That's all right. No activity yet. 
Let's actually double check that. So we have something in sun Southeast Asia, but it's like 60 activity, so that's basically nothing. Nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. What is going to happen though is uh, I'm going to rename people. We have ended with Elias. So next will be Dead Man Zam. Welcome to the team. You have very, very good fire accuracy, good reactions. Hmm, you're a good soldier, Zam. Next we have uh, Pabst Miller, who wanted to have Bravery 10 and a white flag. Well, let's have a look. Do we have a Bravery 10 soldier for you? That's 20, that's 10. Okay, so maybe you'll get... Uh, Maybe you'll get uh, this guy, 20 bravery. I can change it to 10. And Pabst Miller actually wanted uh, a white flag. I'm sure we can find a piece of linen in the base and stick it on a stick. <laughs> the question is, will you be able to shoot with that? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that man Zen wanted to be from UK. I almost forgot. So let's do it like that. Next we have um, recruit Eric Johnson from Lithuania. Welcome to the team. Uh, you will uh, get a Russian flag or something like that. Or He asked for either Polish or Russian because Lithuania, unfortunately, is not on the list. Let's give you a Russian flag. This one, right? Pretty good soldier. Well, I take that back. <laughs> Cannon fodder with firing accuracy. 40, I was looking at bravery when I said that. And that's all for the new guys. If I forgot somebody, uh, let me know in the comments below that I missed you. Because, well, it happens. And let's start recycling and uh, cloning people. So, JG the second. Pretty good accuracy. You need to work on your strength, though. Let's give you the US flag. Right there. Next, we will have um, Anoninamia. All right, you are also pretty good shot. Poor reactions, very good strength, by the way. You will be a rocketeer. All right. Next, we have Trauer from Brazil. A male name, Miranda. The second, and of course, you are the second as well. Anonym. So, bravery reactions, fire accuracy, strength, you're sort of average guy. Let's give you a grenade launcher, for example. Again, I don't have a Brazilian flag here, but I can give you at least Portuguese. Okay. We still have new people. So, this one will belong to Cerezer. The second, of course. And that's about it. Right? That man, Zam, Eric Johnson, JG the second, Anonym the second, Miranda the second, uh, Cerezer the second, and Pabst Miller the first. Congratulations. Alright, and um, let's put, uh, we have one space available, let's put uh, Pabst Miller on Sky Ranger and let's give him that uh, white flag, there it is. So, um, yeah, you can enjoy that white flag and your firing is only 52. 
throwing 30, 59, melee 33, so 30, 29 strength, man you can't have that much, but uh, take at least this and that, and maybe a flare or two, and you can, uh, you can take this, that should be enough for now. All right, next, next we wait. Personal armor manufactured, let's do some more alloys. Nice, and let's uh, wait for something to happen. Excellent rating. We have a... Uh, Pretty good income, very, very, very big maintenance. <laughs> okay, well, happens. And everybody got XCOM service medal. Congratulations, people. Even, you know, like Pops Miller, who didn't do anything yet, already got an XCOM service medal. All right. So, 1st of March. Now we need to slowly advance the time and see what we can see. All right, so I need to send uh, Sky Ranger after them immediately. Now we have uh, 18 minutes into the, uh, 11 minutes into the recording. I will probably do the equipment off camera and uh, be right back. And we're back. So, today coming with us are Anonym, Eric Johnson, Deadman, Zamsi, Razor the Second, Nocturnal, Private FC, Rolly Axton, Saint, The Camp Dragon, Pabst Miller, JG the Second, Ragnar, Dr. Simon, Black, Iron, Tarkus, and Private Horst. You have uh, all the weapons you see behind your name, and we have four personal armors, which I have distributed as follows. We have got, um, personal armor on Ragnar, our most high-ranking officer, the colonel, I think. We have um, personal armor on Exton Saint and Private Horse, who are very valuable soldiers with good stats. And uh, a new rookie, Anonym, Rocketeer, standing in front, uh, would like to have personal armor so that he doesn't die. Um, or he has a little bit less chance to die when he gets hit at the front. So, that's about that. Uh, now we need to send uh, the Sky Ranger immediately after the UFO number 10 and we need to send an Interceptor. Let's send number 2. They are slowly getting out of range, yes we know, but we'll be able to get to them, don't you worry. So Interceptor can look for them somewhere over there and we see them already let's intercept them with both craft set target and it is a small ufo small scout perfect let's follow them oh there's another one ufo number 11 okay where are you over there as well fine we don't have time to care about you right now hmm. actually interceptor number two you can select a new target you will go after that UFO and we might I just want to keep them in radar range so I will be maneuvering like this like crazy they both will most likely land unless uh, hopes rebalanced everything <laughs> Okay. Okay. That's also a small scout. All right. And this one has landed. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go. Sky Ranger 2. And we have a nice landing site number 4. So, Anonym. Nice personal armor. Very good. And, uh, yeah, who else? Axton right there, Pabst with his uh, white flag, we'll see how that goes. 
and uh, Ragnar of course, Ragnar and Private Horst. Okay, we don't see anybody, so you are allowed to live, Anonym. <laughs> you are allowed to live. We are right here, which is great. Now let's uh, step outside. We see one tiny little sectoid already. Hmm. So, Eric Johnson, do you think you can handle this? Do you think you can handle this? Somehow, <laughs> somehow you can. You're allowed to live as well. Okay, Eric, it looks like there's a lot of buildings up ahead, which means we will need that smoke. Put it um, right here, okay, and face that way. Now we have a couple more rookies, like Sir Razor. <laughs> we'll also take um, a smoke grenade and put it probably somewhere over there, or maybe inside the Sky Ranger. Yeah, probably inside the Sky Ranger is a better idea. Put it right there. Although, nah, let's not put it inside the Sky Ranger. Let's uh, let's put it um, Oh, hello. Ooh, that's a uh, space fighter. All right. So, I guess I guess we can try Ducking with Anonym. And get rid of this guy. I love that sound. Okay. Next. There he is, by the way. Next, we shall throw this uh, a bit forward. Nothing else else. Next, Private FC Rolly with a grenade launcher. Tiny bit closer. Who else? That man Zam is a sniper. I need you. I need you here, that man Zam. Face that way. Nocturnal, I need you over here too, but Hmm. This might not be enough smoke. You know what? Just come down here. Although that's not good. Um, come over here. We need at least a little bit uh, of uh, space to fire. Next, uh, Axton, you will be on this landing gear. Just like uh, the Camp Dragon, who will go right there. Don't shoot with, with that grenade launcher, please. JG. Hmm. I think we'll need... Uh, yeah, we'll need a smoke up here as well, so JG can do that. And everybody else just moves a little bit closer. We have quite a few people over here. Hey, Pabst, uh, nice flag over there. What can you do with it? Oh, you can point it at someone. You can just hold it or you can wave with it. <laughs> nice. Um, very nice. And uh, everybody else just like this. Where's my medic? There you are, Horst. Good job. Next turn. All right, nobody. So, scout number one, Eric Johnson, sees no one. He boldly goes where no other XCOM operatives dare to go, sees nothing. Razor sees exactly the same thing. 
The map is not that big. I guess the UFO will be on the other side. So let's reposition first. Rocketeer, stay there. Another rocketeer. Um, I mean, grenade launcher guy, stay there. Rocketeer, just a little bit. Duck. Sniper, a little bit into the smoke. Gauss weapon guys, forward, not that much, just here. Uh, another another Gauss weapon right there. And Dr. Zyman, come forward. Kill everything that moves. Horst, just down, duck. Uh, Ragnar. Hmm. Down and stay there. Then Anonym, reload, and maybe you can do some terraforming over here. We'll put you here. That's all right. You don't shoot, of course. Almost forgot. <laughs> Next, uh, Pops. White flag in the middle, of course. And. Um, Black Iron Tarkus will stay in the craft for now. Next turn. Good job, whoever that was. I think that must have been somebody. Yeah, Private Horst. Was it? Yeah. Wow. Your reactions are 58. Good job there, Private. Oh, you have another shot possible, but let's give it to somebody else. I think uh, I think uh, Pops Miller wants to try his uh, white flag and point it at uh, this guy. Did you see that? That was like a whip, right? So he waved the white flag so fast that it actually broke the sound barrier and uh, the resulting, uh, you know, shock wave was sent straight at this guy and killed him. Now that's what I call a white flag. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Eric. Scout duty. Nobody. Nobody. There's a few people over here. I think I should uh, face this way rather. <laughs> Nobody there. Eric, you need a smoke cover. But, uh, oh, there's the UFO. All right, now you really need a smoke cover. We don't want many people to die, do we? Especially not good officers like this. And, um, well, we can... If there weren't so many fences everywhere, we could move relatively easily. But like this, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Alright, where's my second scout? Razor. See anything? Yes, you do. Okay, there's another space farer. We have a grenade launcher guy. That was not very good, Private. How about we try with you? Nah. Nah. Let's... Uh, Let's reload and try with other people like Exton. How much do you need? 34. I knew you could do it. It was a good hit as well, Exton. Congratulations. Uh, we need a few more of such hits. Though, JG. 34, 34, yeah. So face this way, you can't duck. 
One good headshot. People, I like this. So, flag will go this way. And rocket launcher will go that way. Second rocket launcher will prepare and face here. Sniper will come closer. I should have actually leveled this building just to see what's going on, but uh, probably not so necessary. We are totally outnumbering them. One down there, and we have him cornered, almost. So how about uh, trying that white flag again? So shall we just wave it like crazy guys, or hold it next to our hips and try some snapshots with it, or shall we point it at uh, this guy precisely? Or just, you know, don't do anything. It's also possible. So, Camp Dragon. That's nice, you have opened it, and now we can point it more precisely. Oh, I love how you do that, <laughs> Pabst. I love how you do it. But maybe we need uh, something more effective now. Let's say... Uh, Let's say, yeah, this should do. JG Duck, 71. Oh, perfect. Nobody there, nobody there. And there's a sectoid, look at him with the heavy plasma, ouch. Run away. And let's try. No line of fire, of course. Oh, of course. Well, yes, I know what you're trying to say. I don't buy it. Uh, if you duck... That helped. Okay. I think there's no point in uh, splitting too much, but since the Razor, our good old scout, has a lot of time in it, why don't you try here? Nothing, okay. Then stay right there. And we'll move a couple of people, like Axton Saint, a little bit closer. Uh, Dead Man Zam is fine. Anonym, you won't probably have much to do. Just move a little bit. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Uh, you can go here. You can stay where you are. You can duck, go on overwatch. And same with you, Horst. Next turn. Alright, alright. Nobody? Nobody. Nobody. So Razor, next time you will scan. Eric, you don't have a scanner. How come my scout doesn't have a scanner? Axton, you have a scanner. Nah. Private Horst, alright. You have a good arm as well, so take that. Stand up and throw it to my scout. Thank you very much. That's us and nobody else. Okay. Well, if I could move in a coordinated manner, I would, but I can't. I don't want to spend too many of these ammo clips. What I can do probably... Hmm, yeah, I can probably use a grenade launcher. Nah, that's not such a good idea. 
Hmm. Can you go and check it out? No, there's a, there's a, look at that. This is totally blocked off. Totally blocked off. You can't move over there. These fences, this is the, this is the nemesis of all XCOM soldiers. Hmm. Okay, we'll just move. So, white flag first. We come in peace, aliens, we come in peace. No need to worry. And uh, JG with the Gauss weapon will come as well. Stay over here. And for now it's okay. All right. Johnson, there is something nine and five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five. Somebody is outside the UFO. And we don't see them just yet, but they could see us through here. So let's not be stupid and just come closer. Two people should be sort of enough. You can close the door just in case. And white flag will follow you. That's all right, three people. Then JG, come closer. This might be a see-through thingy. Oh, I didn't want to stay standing there. That's not good. <laughs> Eric, I totally misplayed that. I could... Uh, Waste another smoke on you, but you know what? I won't. I'm sure you want a better soldier. This will enable you to get one. Ragnar? There still might be somebody here, so let's put some of our best people there. Dr. Zyman, come closer. We'll prepare to breach from both sides. Grenade launcher guys don't have to do much anymore. Black Iron, though, could. Uh, another sniper right there. Rocketeer, one here. One here. And, uh, well, come closer anyway. Next. Lucky, aren't we, Eric? There's one five in front of you and three to the right. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, right, uh, right here. Hmm. Well, he's facing your way, so can't really go to him, but maybe we can uh, stun him with someone. Doesn't look like it really. All right, Cerezer, your time to shine. And we have actually recovered him alive. Good job, Cerezer. We got a power source as well. Wow, our first UFO power source. Cool. Seven aliens killed, seven recovered, one alive, two alien artifacts recovered. Why only two? Oh, because these guys don't carry weapons, do they? Well, that's a shame. But we do have 12 alloys, not bad. Plus 6 on uh, Pabst, Miller and JG, good job guys. Plus 4 HP on Pabst, <laughs> nice. Uh, 6 stamina, a lot of stuff, yeah. One heavy plasma, I guess, on that, um, on that um, sectoid and the plasma rifle on no idea whom. Ah, there were two sectoids. Hey, wait a moment, when did we kill the second sectoid? Ah, oh, right at the beginning, right, right, right at the beginning. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. We are missing smoke grenades. We have a commander, Commander Ragnar, and Sergeant Private Horst. We have Mercy Cross on uh, Cerezer. Congratulations. 
We have Athena Citation and Military Cross. All first awards. Um, JG, by the way, was uh, very kind and fixed the Mercy Cross and the Nike Cross. So once I kick myself and uh, upgrade already, uh, they won't be incorrectly awarded anymore. Anyway, I think we'll wait for UFO 11 to land as well and um, do things afterwards. I think those alloys we have manufactured quite enough and we should invest into some more um, armor. We can do seven, we'll do six. Nice. And um, maybe I can, you know, maybe I can just send the same crew again so that I don't have to re-equip. What do you think? I have to wait a little bit. It might be night. It will actually be night. So we'll have a... I will have to re-equip. Uh, <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Go after them. Oh, we need to... Uh, we need to go after them. And uh, you are already refueling, okay. So you know what, uh, we'll, uh, we'll save it here. And when we come back, I will uh, re-equip the crew. We might even take the same crew for fun. Uh, or not, <laughs> we'll see. And um, give them some flares. And that would be it. We'll go after the second UFO as well. For now, I thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.